This is an overview of the Magic Base Pro import wizard. Now in a traditional database, usually the importing process is rather tedious because you have to try to match up fields from the old database with fields that you're going to import into the new database. And there's never a one-to-one -one correspondence between the old and the new, and so you're forced to make some compromises. Well, the import wizard will help to solve that problem. It will do a number of things for you. It will allow you to easily match fields from the old database to the new database without any need to scroll through a long list of fields. It will also allow you to combine two fields from the old into one field on the new, or you can split one field from the old into two fields in the new database and you can also add a constant data to every record in the database. For example, if you want to have a constant data that says new customer, you can have that added to a certain field in every record on the new database. And it's all done automatically. So, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you four ways to process fields. The first is going to be a simple one-to-one -one correspondence from one field to another. The second will be combining two fields into one. The third will be splitting one field into two. And finally, the fourth step will be adding a constant data to a certain field. So first, on the left, we've got the fields that have Im been imported from the database. Now, currently, I only have three records in the database, and I can scroll through it using these controls here. Now there's really a four-step process as identified by these four numbers here. Step one is you want to import the records, and I've already done that. Okay, The controls here will allow you to import the records and to search for a certain record and delete some records. Now step two, you want to do some processing. So all of these controls in the middle will allow you to select certain fields and match one field to another and save the formula. And by formula, we mean that a formula consists of at least two fields, an import field and an export field. And you save that in the import wizard. And then once you've got all the fields lined up how you want, you can do a batch process in step three by clicking on the process formulas. And then any of the formulas that you've saved will be automatically done. And it doesn't matter whether you've got 1,000 records or 10,000 records. It'll just go through and do it. And then step four is to save the new records. That will allow you to save the new records into a new file that's got all the records lined up just how you want. And then once you've got them lined up how you want, the process will be easier for you to import them into another database or into Magic Base Pro. So first I'm going to show you how to match up one field to another. Now this database has got three records, and it just happens that the middle record has got the names of all of the fields. Before I exported the data from my old database, I typed in the name of each field into each field so that I knew what fields I was dealing with here. So by clicking on the clone button here, I can just copy those field names over to the left. Now I don't need this record anymore, so I'll click just to delete that one. So now I've got two records in the database and I can browse through them like this. So first step, I'm going to match up fields. Now here I've got an email field, so I'm going to click into the email field and choose Select Current Field. So the current field appears here, and, the, and it shows what data is in that field right now. Now this is just a sample. Um, it's just taking the displaying the data from this one record, but that's showing me that my I've selected the right field. So then I can go down here and find email, click that, and choose select target field. So there's the target field. It all matches up, so I'm going to save that formula. Now once I save the formula, um, an X will appear here to show that that field has already been used, and an X field will appear there. Now I can always back up and delete the formulas if for some reason I don't like that. Okay. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to choose the email field, select that one, and then I'll choose email and select that as a target. So I'm going to save that formula. 
Now let's do another example. Let's take the phone field. So I'm going to select the phone, select that as the current field 1, and then I'm going to put this into phone 1, so then I select target field over there. And when I save that formula, now an X appears next to each of these to show that that field has been processed. Now I could go through this whole process and match up 20 different fields if I wanted, but that's just an example. So now let's say that I've got all the fields program that I want. When I choose process formula, it's going to process it. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you, we're going to advance forward and you'll see um, that right here on this field, on this record right here, none of the data has been transferred yet. This is the Wiley Coyote uh, record. Nothing has been transferred over here, but you'll notice that the fields have got an X next to them to show that they are programmed already. So when I click Process Formula, then it's going to go through the whole database, and it doesn't matter whether there's a hundred or a thousand records, it will go through and copy them. So now the data has been transferred. So I can browse through here and show, all right, so the phone field has been transferred there. There apparently was no email field uh, over on this record. As you can see, the email is blank here, so that's why no email has appeared over here. So that's step one, just doing a one-to-one -one correspondence. It's very simple. Now let's say that we want to 